Two cases involving policies and funding at the U.S.-Mexico border will now go before the Supreme Court. And News Nation's Ashley Ketz is in the newsroom with more details. Ashley. Well, one of the cases involves a policy requiring asylum seekers to wait in Mexico for their hearings in the U.S. It stems from a surge of families at the border in January of last year. Under the administration policy, more than 60,000 people were returned to Mexico. The Justice Department estimates there were 25,000 who were waiting for hearings when those proceedings were suspended due to the pandemic. In a statement, the DOJ says it is pleased the court will hear the case because it's part of the department's effort to manage the immigration crisis at the southern border. Meanwhile, the American Civil Liberties Union says the policy is illegal and depraved. Lower courts found the policy is probably illegal, but the Supreme Court is allowing it to remain in place until it makes a ruling. The other case involves funding for the president's border wall. A lower court found the Trump administration improperly diverted money to build the structure. It sidestepped Congress by transferring billions of dollars in military, salary, and pension funds for the project. The Supreme Court is allowing construction to continue while the case plays out. Crews have already built 115 miles of the wall, including sections in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. The cases could end up going away depending on the outcome of the upcoming presidential election. Democratic nominee Joe Biden has said if elected, he would end construction of the wall, but would not tear down what has already been built. The Supreme Court will not hear the cases until the court's next term in October of next year.